You want to know what real life nursing is all about? This is the Daily Round Show by NRSNG.com. Hey guys, I'm going to talk about getting through anatomy and physiology. So, I loved anatomy and physiology. I actually was a student instructor for anatomy and physiology while I was waiting to do my other core classwork for my pre-nursing. And I think the biggest thing about anatomy and physiology is just so much information. It's just thrown on you and it's overwhelming. Um, and the best way to do it is to cut it up into little groups and segment what it is you're learning. You know, um, let's say you need to label all of the artery, um, veins and arteries of the heart well. Take that picture of the heart and make sure you've mastered it. That's what you do all day. I usually would print out a picture of it, you know, without the answers on it. And then I would put it in a sheet protector and I would write the answers. I would, like, I would quiz myself on the answers. And then I would check the answers, you know, if they're right or wrong or whatever. And then I would wipe it clean and I would do that again and again and again. It's a lot of repetition. It's how you memorize things. I was huge on flashcards. I would type up, I would take any sort of topic like, you know, let's say the hip bone is connected to the knee bone kind of thing. So your, your teacher says that. You write it down on your notebook and then you go home and you type up your notes because I know you're typing up your notes because that's what I did. And then you go into Google Docs and you make a spreadsheet. And under A, you write the question. The question would be, your hip bone is connected to what bone, question mark. The, in column B, right next to it, you would put the answer. The answer is knee bone. Then you would get G flash plus, which I think is to get, you could get it for free, but to get the full version, it's like, I can't remember if it's $2.99. It could be worth $20 and it's worth every penny. I would buy, I still use that app today. I used it through all of nursing school. I used it through every single class that I had. Um, so it is it is an investment I highly recommend that you get. And then I would go into that app and you can pull those questions in through the Google Docs and it will turn them into flashcards on your phone that you take anywhere. So waiting in line at the grocery store, don't waste the time and read that People magazine I know you really want to read. Uh, instead, pull up your flashcards and do a couple flashcards while you're waiting there. That's the best way to get through everything. So make sure that you are utilizing your time as much as possible. Make sure you get a study group. Make sure that you are doubling up on your tasks. So when you're typing up your notes or when you're reviewing your notes, you are also creating questions to quiz yourself. And make sure that when you are studying, you are focusing on one thing at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. You know, don't study the entire seven chapters that they have assigned to you or whatever it is that they assign to you. Study on one chapter or maybe even a part of that one chapter per day. The other thing that I did is I would look ahead and I would say, okay, for this exam, I have to cover all these different topics and I have to cover all these different chapters. And these are the amount of days I have to do it in. And I know, you know, this Saturday I have a certain event I have to attend. And so I, you know, would know that that day's already taken out. Once you have all of your days available, you know, I have to have chapter every five days memorized or however many days you guys you get for it and then I would segment it up and make sure that I studied that much you can do this and if you cut it down into smaller pieces it will definitely be a lot easier so that's my advice on getting through a and P good luck you guys you can do it if you have any questions let me know leave a comment